Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is I. Welcome back to Dungeon Crack for another quick vlog here about some small subject matter. My name is John. Today we're going to be looking at just my first impressions of like four weird older toys from McDonald's that I have found. And <laughs> I don't have context for most of these. I don't know what time at least three of these came out in. I have a little information on one, a little information on the other, but that's about it. So let's just get right on into it. I consider all of these kind of disappointing in some way. We're going to see if I can have fun with them regardless, though. So let's get on to it. All right, so we are going to look at kind of the worst, and then we're going to go up to the best. So, the worst one, in my opinion, that we've got today is this thing. Because, I mean, look. I'm going to level with you. This is Wadbot. I don't doubt its functionality, but I actually remember this because this was actually something I've read about where they actually wanted people to be in shape a lot. It would come with this big, long leaflet telling you about how you can actually build muscle or this or that and give you lots of cool stuff. Michael Jordan was actually behind this campaign with McDonald's. But you get this little straw here. And... Goodness. It smells like 1990s in there. But you know what? I mean, to be fair, it is, it's at least a cup. Sorry about my background, by the way. I usually don't have this kind of alternate look at my area. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a little unclean here and there, especially because I haven't got that whole entire thing situated. But this is just kind of a weird thing to me. Um... Apparently, according to this, there were eight toys. And when I say toy, I mean whatever this shit is. <laughs> Let's move on. All right. Going into something that by itself is a little bit sad. But I think it could be fun. It could be fun. So they refer to this as a search team micro cassette in magnify. I have the impression, just looking at this, that you were supposed to collect all four toys, and it would show you some kind of treasure, or some kind of mystery would be solved if you had all four pieces. <clears throat> okay, so, I'll show you this, then I'll read it to you. So. I'm going to quickly skim through this. I'll leave an image of it right here. Ronald found these tiny aliens to the moon and a clue to the mystery of the lost arches. Use your magnifier to search for aliens that are of the same color. Circle two that have no matching color. What color are they? The answer is your clue. So just as I thought, um, this is a magnifying glass. And you'd look through it, and you'd try to find two of the same collar. And when you find the one that has no match in collar, which I think... is actually this blue one right here. I'm... <laughs> Okay, you know something? Hands up, I'm having fun. You know what? Fine. You get a little magnifying glass. That's pretty cool. You know what? I revoke my statement. This is kind of cool. Shut up. Moving on. Well, that's a little weird. A disappointing McDonald's toy that I have fun with. You know what? Moving on. This is a balloon ball. 
and I don't know... Okay, is it actually a beach ball, though? Like a full-on beach ball. Hell yeah, it is a full-on... You know something? That's fine. Okay. Welcome to a man trying to blow up the entire thing. And, um, losing my breath a little. I'll be right back. Cue montage music. Here's the cool thing. So if you move this around, it's kind of like, so there's a second thing in there being blown up and it's actually Ronald in the clouds. And if you move it, you can kind of see him. This video isn't going very well is the funny thing, but I think I'm going to keep it rolling because it's actually interesting. This is not exactly how I thought it'd be, but this is a cool little ball, though. To be fair, it's a ball within a ball, and it's like, it's a ball. I mean, you could play with it. I mean, I may have been a little judgmental on it, but you know what? I thought it was going to, it says balloon ball. I thought that implied that it was just a balloon, and it would pop. So, I mean, excuse me but I'm pretty sure that's what I thought it was. So, um, that's pretty nice. Okay. This is the best one so far, but I mean, let's move on to the last thing. All right. So, here we have a Gyarados. No, <laughs> joking. Over there on the left is a Gyarados, which is pretty cool. I like that Gyarados. Okay, anyways, this is a literal spaceship that you can build out of cardboard. And so, again, the funny thing that we have to cue the montage music again, but I don't think this one's going to be very long. I mean, it's, it's just, it's literally just a model kit. That's made out of cardboard. How hard could it be? One hour later, two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, we are back. Um, you know something? That's really fun. Of course, I had to make it to where the astronauts getting a rocket to the nuts. But I mean, like, you know, I mean, it's pretty fun. I mean, look, here's the thing. I'm going to completely be serious here for a second. I came in with the concept of having a video where literally the whole entire concept was these were disappointing McDonald's toys. But only one of them really was. The bottle is still ridiculous. I stand by my freaking word. But you know something that's really funny is that everything else turns out to be pretty fun. I mean, we got a little magnify. Oh my god. My goodness, that is such terrifying existence. That's what that is. I am terrified of existence. Okay, um... On that rather strange, but kind of fun note, I mean, I guess you really can't go wrong with McDonald's toys, for the most part. I still don't think the, um, bottle was necessary, but you know what? Whatever have you. It's fun. It's cool. Either way, my name is Ben John, and I've played myself once again. Thank you so much for coming.